What's going on guys? Welcome back to This Is The Police. It is day 25. We're doing somewhat better, I think, than we were doing earlier. Uh, anyway, park to host Bake Off. Don't care. Not enough plots at City Cemetery. Normally I'd say that's not super interesting, but it does mean that there's more people dying than they, they thought, which makes sense. And a photographer films a UFO in the suburbs. Okay, man. Okay, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when E.T. knocks on my door and drinks some coffee with me. All right, so, uh, all right, this is our shift. Looking pretty good. It's not too bad. Uh, we should be able to hire some more cops, actually. Uh, all right, so we have this case still open. So we solved the investigation of the theft uh, in, the, in the previous video. And let's see. Uh, we are now able to actually arrest the person that did this. And there's nobody available, so we have two slots available. Uh, Colin Marcus spends much of his time at work, so we are going to be able to... Lives in a luxurious house with a swimming pool. It is morning, so I feel like he is going to be at work. I'm going to send my best cops out there. Let's get this guy. Let's see, a bar fight broke out after the bartender refused to serve two particularly drunk men. We are on it, man. It's only two dudes. I mean, it, it's probably not too bad. I mean, if there's a fight between five cops and two drunk dudes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick my money on. The, I'm gonna bet my money on the cops. Uh, we found the apartment of one of the leaders of Vargas Punks. We're going to be, en we're gonna end this thing ourselves. But there's bound to be some gunplay. It would be good if the police took charge of the situation. I don't have anybody available, and uh, Sand actually has a one point lead. Two large angry men are fighting in the corner of the bar. All right, so they're they're big. I'm actually just gonna use a taser. If we try to separate them, someone might get injured. One of my dudes, I'm gonna taser him. Apparently that was a good call. For one split second, I thought that they would they had all died, but no, we're good. All right, here we go. Did we get him? We did get him. That is some great experience for everybody involved, especially Beasley is starting to be a really really good detective. Uh, Alright, so let's stick some people with this uh, homicide situation as well, because we only have one detective work in this case. So we're going to send Mole and let's say Cheryl. And then the other case, I'm going to send Davenport and Armstrong to back up. And then, you know, we should be able to take care of that uh, pretty, pretty quickly. So I'm not going to help out the Sands. I'm actually going to let this one just skip. Actually, no, I'm going to send Feinberg and Hater because the next thing for Sand might actually require more people. Uh, Mr. Boyd, my catering company was preparing a 20th anniversary banquet for the Gallery of Modern Art, but the celebration was canceled at the last moment. It would be unfortunate if such a mountain of food went to waste, um, so we can buy it. It's only 300 bucks. I'll do it. My people will like it. They're going to be happy. That's good. A young man climbed to the top of the cathedral and is threatening to jump. A crowd of onlookers has gathered under the cathedral. Some of them recognize the man and say they're sure he won't jump. He just had some bad acid and wants some attention. See, I'm not taking any chances here. I'm going to send Pope and Giuliano. Giuliano really, he's a new cop. He's going to need a lot of experience to get better at this. So I'm just going to send him on some of these, uh, these easier little jobs. I mean, he's just a dude. We know he's not going to kill one of my cops. A young woman attempted to leave the octopus restaurant without paying. The waitress tried to stop her, but the girl punched her in the head and knocked her unconsciousness. That's okay. A guard tried to step in, but the girl disabled him with pepper spray. She then locked herself in the back room where she can be heard beating something and shouting curses. So that's pretty serious. We already know from the description that he, she has actually committed several crimes. Uh, so we're going to take her out. Hater and Feinberg are done with their little thing. Let's see how it goes with the dude. This isn't the first time that teenager Gordon Booker has drawn the attention of the police with such a performance. He was never really planning on jumping. All right. Again, I don't really feel bad because we didn't really um, miss those clops. It was a good idea to just send them out there, make sure. If you ask me. All right, the robbery. We got we got the offender. Looking good, people. 
All right, now Varga. A couple of our guys were picked up right on the street and put in straight jackets. They've already been checked into the psych ward. Send must be behind this. Can you look into it? All right, so we're going to send Feinberg to take care of that little situation. That's a pretty funny way, though, to deal with rival gang members, to have them admitted to a... to an, a sort of an insane asylum mental hospital. But yeah, that'll be, that'll be good. Some of our men just ran into a bunch of punks on the street. We don't know if they're Vargas people, but it would be good to get a couple of uniforms on the scene just in case things go south. I'm gonna ignore this one. I want uh, Varga and San to be equal again. And that's not gonna happen if I help Send out again. So I'm gonna need to help out Varga one more time today. And then everything will be settled. Let's see if we can do it though. We're still collecting Vela's um, salary, I just realized. All right. Uh, Robert Wilson called to complain that his family can't get any sleep. I mean, why are you sleeping at, like, it's not even eight, man. Uh, on account of the noisy neighbors. Strange people are always coming and going. And blah, blah, blah. His son snuck out before bad time, peeked through the window. They saw a box of machine guns. Kids have such imaginations, they can come up with anything, but it might be best if you send over an officer. Just in case, you know, that it might actually be real. It sounds like a false alarm, and it's implying that it's a false alarm, which is what actually kind of makes me believe that it might be real. So just in case, we are going to go out there and make sure that there's no machine guns being stacked in someone's garage. Because that would be bad. Alright, here we go, Varga. An assassin named Clapper, who has worked for Sen in the past, said he let us in on some of their secrets. When we pulled up to meet him, we saw Sen's man dragging him behind a horse. We need to get him out of there while he's still alive. Alright, so I'm gonna send these two. They can deal with that. I think it's gonna be a while before we see any other... Oh boy. Alright, so there are machine guns being peddled there. I think we might be able to take care of this. I don't know how serious it really is. They don't really say. I wish that I could get some type of indication of how bad the crime really is. I mean, that would be pretty realistic, right? I mean, when you're working at a police station, or when you're a cop, you're calling for reinforcements, you always say how bad it really is, and now we don't know. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna wait a little bit more for this one. Homicide, alright, we got some new frames. I think we got a lot now. No, we don't, it's not even that many. Alright, I'm just gonna wait. Alright, hater is done, so it's Giuliano. Let's see how bad this really is. Please don't, oh no. All right, well, Feinberg died. I mean, it's only the worst cop that I had that died, so... And we did get a sweet gun. Sorry, Feinberg. That kind of sucks for you. I'm just glad that not all of them died, because that would have been a real bummer. Or Vendal, that would be kind of sad. All right, so they're on equal footing again. They both have 20 chips. Again, I wish that I knew... Alright, you're dead. I wish that I, I would know uh, when they when Varga needs to have the lead. Schoolgirl struck dead by lightning. Confectionary reduces staff. And legendary actor Paul Spaghetti giving masterclass in Freeburg. Alright. I mean, it's probably not pronounced Spaghetti. More so, so like Spaghetti maybe, or... Spagat, I don't know. But Spaghetti sounds funnier. Uh, you're tired. Screw you, buddy. I've got some terrible heartburn. Let's take a frickin'... I drank too much. No. I'm gonna fire you for that. Are you serious? He's been working here for, what, three days? And he's already drunk. This dude. Alright, hold on. Uh, alright, let's see. Federal law prohibits public gatherings close to municipal buildings. The blacks are... The black? Are you serious? Are planning a pro protest today in front of the city hall. This is a direct threat to the life of Mayor Rogers. Eliminate this threat by any means necessary. Uh, I'm gonna share that because it's pretty garbage. Rip in peace, rip in peace. Also, uh, thank you for my salary. And we have 700 from... I think it's Vela. Alright, let's share that as well. Alright, let's see. About 100 black people have surrounded City Hall chanting, We want attention. You have to send four officers, SWAT, and a paddy wagon. So I do, normally I'd say, of course you don't do this. They're just protesting, but... 
City Hall wants me to do us do this, so I'll do it. I'm not even gonna bother with Co uh, Cooper. I'm just gonna fire him. I think. Let's send a drunk cop to do this. That's gonna be fun. Jack, Mayor Rogers is misinterpreting the law in his favor. In fact, federal law allows public events near municipal buildings, including the mayor's office, providing the event is peaceful, we better cover our asses. So, we can get evidence against Nicole Smith, whoever that is. Some officers save. Oh, it's her. Okay. Uh, we can also get evidence against Christopher Sand and just sort of blame the mob. Uh, let's see. We can tamper with the answering machine at Jack's home, ending a message from the Mafia, forcing the police chief to order racist attacks against the protesters under threats against Jack's family. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I do want to be safe and not get into any more issues. Alright, so Brandy Bailey, she's quite good. Uh, let's take a look at the shift. So we have six officers here. That's way too little. This one is nine. Alright, so I'm gonna hire three for shift A. Shift A. Shift A. And once we fire <laughs> once we fire Cooper, we can we can hire Tony Baloney. I mean that name alone really wants me makes me want to hire him. Uh, one of our friends hit a bag of explosives for us in the forest. We send a couple guys in to retrieve it, but only one came back and he had his tongue cut out. We better find out what happened to the other guy. Alright, we'll do it. Still got Prado and Yancey, my top guys, my top guns, uh, ready to roll. Dude, we're actually sending SWAT to just a peaceful protest. This is messed up, man. Alright, let's see. A call just came in from an elderly woman named Sarah Wilkinson. She's concerned about a baby crying and other shouts coming from her neighbor's house. She's always known the child to be quiet and well-behaved. I think it's bullshit, but either way... Let's just take care of this real quick. It's probably not going to be a big deal. Suppress the protest by force. Yes. We have evidence that covers my ass, so I'm okay. Alright, they're done. With whatever they were doing, I don't remember. Football fans have started a massive fight at the stadium. The police are trying to keep order, but the crowd isn't cooperating. I'm going to send my entire squad... Soon as I can, all these seven officers and a paddy wagon. I just hope it's gonna be enough. Are you serious? Retreat. I mean, we have nobody available. Retreat. I mean, it's gonna suck when the offender has escaped, civilian was killed. So we may have just gotten a baby killed. I mean, I feel bad about all that. Uh, I certainly wish that that hadn't happened, but it did. All right, let's go deal with this. Alright, we'll see. I mean, if they um, ask for reinforcements again, we're just going to tell them to retreat. We don't really have enough cops to deal with something this big. We don't have SWAT anymore. Several Sen's cars are following one of our couriers. The courier is driving around in circles trying to lose the tail, but Sen might overtake him if nobody steps in. Alright. Let's take care of that. Man, today is a big day. There's a lot of stuff going on. I just hope that City Hall is going to be happy with... Um, with me helping out because that cost me a pretty penny. Like, a lot of money. Smoke bombs have gone off throughout the stadium and people are beating each other mercilessly. Fire into the air, hit them with tear gas. Let's do that. Apparently, it's good enough. See, that's a lot of experience that we just got there. Sweet. Not bad at all. Carjacking. Alright, give me, give me some time. I'm just waiting for the other people to get back from the stadium. Because we got pretty much nobody. Come on, people. And we are... Good. A woman called to report a carjacking. I was driving to work, stopped at a red light, and a man ran up to the car and pulled me right through the open window. Hurry, there's traffic jams everywhere. You couldn't have gotten far. Alright. I sent you guys and Franco. That way we know Franco will get some experience. Some more idiots are at, a at our bank again, trying to withdraw money from our accounts. This time we try kicking them out, and they started breaking furniture and lighting paperwork on fire. Apparently the fools think this is going to hurt our business. Alright, let's do this. Send another drunk cop out there. And as soon as possible, actually at the end of the shift, I think I'm just going to uh, fire Cooper. And just hire a new person. Alright, so we got the offender. 
Franco got some experience. Is all good. Now, how are you doing? All right, let's see. Vandalism. Retiree Samantha Rendon was looking out her window when she saw two young girls break the window of a nearby house, then paint towards traitor and cunt on the wall. It's pretty bad. I mean, the first word isn't that bad, but it's like a pretty big escalation. All right, so let's um, do this. City prosecutors have reason to believe that you seriously exceeded your ju judicial powers during today's protest. Protest. We're calling you in for official questioning. All right, so no worries. We got evidence that the mafia put me up to this. So I'm not worried. I wish I could blame City Hall, but that would make them really upset. I just hope that they will give me some uh, some sweet stuff for um, sticking my neck out for them today. The punks have a new lieutenant, and to make himself look good for Varga, he kidnapped the daughter of a senior member of her family. We've learned the address of the house where she was being taken, and we've already sent some people out, but we don't know what we're going to find there. It's the perfect situation for police backup. All right, I got you. I'll help you out. They should be even again, so everything's under control. All right, this case has also been solved. Koizumi now has over 500 professionalism. This uh, shift is... A little too good, maybe, compared to the other one. I might have to switch some people around. Oh, let's see. All right, so it could have been one of the bums. So, all right, bum breaks a window. No, he got money. He didn't do it. It was this guy. So he gives money to the bum. Then he breaks the window and... Something? We don't have enough frames to do this. Homicide. All right, so I think we should be really close here. Someone banged on the door. My mother told me to hide under the bed and close my eyes and ears and be as quiet as a mouse. I only heard muffled screams. When I got out from under the bed, I found my mother in the, in the blood and called the police. Blunt object to the head. Standing behind the victim. All right, we know that now, so... This cannot be have been it. Who's this? I heard Fiona swearing with her brother. He'd come round again begging for money at her doorstep. Then she started yelling at her son. He always sits there in front of the TV playing these stupid games till it turns blue. And then my phone rang and I talked with my friend for an hour and a half. The door to the apartment was open when I came in. The boy was sitting in front of the TV playing some game on the console. He didn't even turn in my direction. I think it was just in shock. His mother was laying dead there right in front of him. So it could be that he killed his mom. I, low, I don't think so. Yes, I went to my sister to borrow some money. I lost my job and the bills were piling up. I expected her to help, like I've helped her in the past, but she refused. But I didn't kill her. We had a fight and yelled at each other and then I went home. I watched a movie I rented and went to bed. I mean, the only suspect really in this case would be this dude, so... Comes by asking for... No, wait, he... Is he carrying the hammer? I can't see. He did not leave, we know that. So he takes his hammer from her, so she's standing there, he comes up, takes the hammer from her, from her. I don't know, let's leave it at that for now, I mean that's a good start. We're getting somewhere now. Anything else, is this the end of the day? I think we made it. Alright, so one last thing before the day is over and I leave. I'm gonna fire Cooper for being a drunk idiot. So you're out. I'm gonna hire Tony Baloney for shift B. Alright, then I'm gonna send Yancey to shift A and Kochi. And I think that should almost... Let's send Smith to shift A as well and that sort of will balance things out hopefully. All right, so that is the end of the day. Nothing else going to happen. We're good. They're still on equal footing, meaning that the Sands will not be suspicious. We have a lot of chips now, though. We've dealt with 44 different requests already, which is frankly a very insane number. All right, so I'm going to end the day. Cheryl's really tired. I don't care about you, man. Whatever. Take the day off. See if I care. Um, anyway, I'm going to...
leave it here for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next part, we're probably going to see the hearing and how we're going to get our way out of that one and hopefully make some more money and hire some more people. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later.